The Court of Appeal Abuja has reserved judgment in the case or reverse judgment in the case between the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Namdi Kanu, and the federal government. Tuesday was fixed for hearing of the appeal between Kanu and the federal government. During the proceedings, the Court of Appeal asked the federal government legal team to confirm if Kanu's charges were amended seven times since 2015. Lawyer from the Office of the Attorney General of the Federation admitted in the affirmative. Recall that Justice Binta Nyaku had on the 8th of April struck out 8 out of 15 count terrorism related charge against Kanu. Dissatisfied Kanu through his lawyer, Chief Mike Ozakame SAN, approached the Court of Appeal challenging the remaining 7 count terrorism related charge filed against his client. He maintained that the forceful rendition of Kanu has not been denied by the federal government and all the counts alleged except one did not mention the location where Kanu was purportedly committed and had committed the offense. And we have been able to demonstrate before in our brief, before the court of appeal, as we did before the lower court, that Nnamdi Kanu never jumped bail. You jump bail when you voluntarily escape from trial and refuse to attend trial. But we all saw that on the 16th of September 2017, Nnamdi Kanu was with his late father, Eze Kanu, in his ancestral home in Umwahia. Farauku, Ibeko, Umwahia, Abia State, when the federal government, using the army through Operation Python, invaded the home and killed in cold blood 28 unarmed Nigerians. Now the Kano managed to escape by providence. Are you saying that he should have waited for you to kill him when 